separating here. And exhale, release the arms, changing sides now. Right arm under, left arm on top. Cross the elbows, cross the arms, palms touch if you can. Inhaling, raise the arms. Exhale, elbows draw in, chin to chest. Inhaling, lifting, release, release the arms. Hands in Anjali Mudra in front of the heart, eyes, eyes open, closed. looking up. Exhaling, chin to chest and release. Just letting the head hang here. Feeling heavy. Hands come to the thighs. As you're ready, inhale, right ear, right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest, right ear, right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder. Interlock the fingers. Extend the arms away from you. Inhale, they rise. Looking up, this time bend the elbows and begin to circle and spiral the arms around as if you're tracing a circle on the sky. Feeling the opening of the upper back, releasing tension from the shoulder blades. Soften the jaw and the face and as you're ready, change direction at the left. Opening up the left side waist. Inhale through center, exhaling over to the left now, looking to the right, opening the right side waist. Inhale center, exhale, release the arms. Inhale, they rise, palms touch, looking up. Exhale, hands. You don't have to worry about it. They were like, oh, that's Tao. I'm like, what is the difference? That's Tao. So this is you. It's the same body, same brain. Dancing makes you well again. You know, I felt a nice I didn't dream of doing I don't believe in age. When people ask me about age, I tell them to look at all the trees around them. There are hundreds of years. Uh, some people say, gee, for a guy especially, uh, should they wear a shirt at all? Well, if you sweat a lot, it might be a better idea to wear something that's going to soak up a little bit of it. And if you're doing something like shoulder stand, and you have your hands that need to have some traction against the body and you're very sweaty, then you can also come into some problems with that. So, what to wear? Comfortable? So let's clean. talk about the shirt. If it's too baggy, you can't really see what's happening. You don't know when, or better yet, your teacher doesn't know when your body is touching the floor or it's not your body at all. So the loose fitting shirts and yeah, no. Something you can tuck in, yeah, that's good. But you have to be careful about the shirt because if you're going to be inverting and well that could be a problem if it well, yeah, gets in the way. So not too loose. Not too tight, so if it's slippery material, maybe not. So no to the stretchy, long pants. These are perfect. I love these. They're short, but not too short. And they have their own liner. Not too tight, but uh, not everyone in a class particularly wants to see everything. So these are my favorite. Um, they're also very form-fitting, body-hugging pants that may be uh, a bit too revealing or perhaps a bit too tight if you're getting into a certain kind of twist. You want things to be able to move around a little bit, perhaps move out of the way.